chapter 8. Author's note, stop flashing, okay? If you do, then you're a prep. Everyone in the class stared at me, and then Draco came into the room, even though he was naked, and started begging me to take him back. Ebony, it's not what you think, Draco screamed sadly. My friend, Bloody Mary Smith, smiled at me understandably. She flipped her long, waist-length gothic black hair and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing contact lenses on. She had pale white skin that she was wearing white makeup on. Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires, and one of them is a witch, but Voldemort killed her mother, and her father committed suicide because he was depressed about it. She still has nightmares about it, and she is very haunted and depressed. It also turns out her last name is Smith and not Granger. Since she is converted to Satanism, she is in Slytherin now, not Gryffindor. What is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape demeaned angrily in his cold voice, but I ignored him. Vampire, I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco. I shouted at him. Everyone gasped. I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I went out with Vampire. I'm by, and so is Ebony. For a while, but he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Brittany, a stupid, preppy fucker. We were just good friends now. He had gone through horrible problems, and now he was gothic. Ha <laughs> ha, like I would hang out with a prep. But I'm not going out with Draco anymore, said Vampire. Yeah, fucking right. Fuck off, you bastard, I screamed. I ran out of the room and into the Forbidden Forest, where I had lost my virginity to Draco, and then I started to bust into tears.